In the previous demo, I showed how to create a new dashboard using Dashboard Designer, but I can also create a dashboard using the browser. In my BI Centre site, I have this library called Dashboards. I'll go to this library and using the Documents tab, choose to add a new item. I'll choose this web part page option. Now I get a page to enter some details and choose my layout. This gives me this blank SharePoint page. I can click on any one of these add a web part links. The ribbon opens up to the insert options. I can choose from a range of SharePoint web parts, but I'll scroll down to the performance point option. Now I'm given the option of inserting performance point elements. I'll choose scorecard. Initially the web part is blank, so I need to open up the tool pane to choose which scorecard I want to display. This tool pane will look familiar to those who've created other content within SharePoint. I need to choose the location where my scorecard is. It's stored within this performance point content library. And that's all that's needed to add my scorecard to this page. In the same way, I could add other performance point content, so I can insert KPIs, charts, reports, even entire dashboards to this page, just as web parts. But the beauty of creating a dashboard as a web part page is that I'm not restricted to performance point services elements. I can choose to add a web part and I can add a library view, a BCS list, an Excel services dashboard, a form, an image, a media player, a simple chart, a KPI list within SharePoint, whatever SharePoint web part I feel is relevant. So you can create BI dashboards that make use of the wide range of other SharePoint capabilities.